Passenger trains could be coming to South Dakota. The state has been included in the new Amtrak daily long-distance service study. Capital Lance Tyler Lauder spoke with a few railroad experts about that survey. Over the past few years, South Dakota has been vocal about being left out of Amtrak's expansion plans. Now there is a potential for change. A couple of years ago, when the Infrastructure and Jobs Act was passed, there was a provision in there that said uh, Amtrak should uh, be serving more places. The last passenger train into Rapid City was back in 1960, and the last one into Sioux Falls was in 1965 to see what they're doing and give them an option. I think it's a fantastic step forward. It's, it's the most that has happened for potential planning of rail service, passenger rail service in South Dakota in at least a generation. One of the proposed ways that South Dakota might be represented and included in the Amtrak's long distance traveling survey is a route that swerves through South Dakota from Minneapolis to Denver and back. We talk about the three E's. We talk about the benefits to the economy, to the environment, and to equity, meaning the places that just haven't been served. Mills says if routes through South Dakota get added in, they might not be what regular Amtrak riders are used to. Everyday service, whether it be like a three-day-a-week service, um, if it did was put into place between Minneapolis and Denver, say, they would provide Rapid City and Pier and some of the central South Dakota communities uh, service, it, it could look entirely different. In Hill City, Tyler Lauder, Kelloland News. The Federal Railroad Administration is seeking input from the public, and if you would like to comment, we have more information under this story on Kelloland.com.